What's up everybody? I'm Katherslai and welcome back to To The Moon. Alright, so let's figure out where Neil is. Maybe he's in here. Oh, Neil. Buddy oh pal. Where do we need to hitch a ride? To the moon, darling. Oh, Henry. Oh, dear lord. I'm way too tired and hungry to be constructing movies. I guess I should go see if anything's changed with John. Sorry for making you sit through this, buddy. To be honest with you, this might not even do any good. If anything, it might make him hate it even more. Please tell me we don't have to go through that sequence again. It's all the same. I'll have to try igniting it somewhere else then. This is ridiculous. All right, different memory, come on. Come on, you can get a little closer. Try and remove her. Perhaps something here could work. I don't have time for her right now. Yeah, 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 we've seen this. What are you guys doing here? It's starting. Let's go get a good spot. Wait, I don't remember this happening. Something must have changed. Yeah, I, I know what changed. Uh, hey, don't squeeze. Wait a minute. This isn't a real change. This is... May I have your attention, please? As you know, I am a representative sent from NASA in all its glory. And I'm here to tell you all about it. Hit it, Timmy. Well, that was terrible. But I digress. Oh god, what? Anyways, I know that many of you are wondering. What chances do I have of doing something as awesome as adventuring in another realm? To inhale the sweetness of Venus. To swim counterclockwise through the rings of Saturn. Or perhaps, just chilling at the backside of the moon! Well, here at NASA, we believe that with enough will, everyone has the potential. It could be you. Or you. Or perhaps... You. But I don't want to go to the moon. Then you're in luck. Wait, what? Why not? Why should I? I'm happy here on Earth as it is, um, as it is. Well, don't you want to go there even a little bit? No, why? Not even a tiny bit. Um, no. Well, as an official NASA recruiter, I shall go over some facts about the moon. To start off, the moon is 4.5 billion years old. Oh my god. And did you know that, it, um, that its surface is about as big as Africa? It's true. In fact, if you try to bike around the moon... Also, it takes 1.5... 247 seconds for light to travel to the moon from here. And if you um, drive a flying car, it will take 130 days. I knew that. Yeah, yeah, you sure, sure you did. And last but not least, people who go to the moon get rich and famous. 
And we all know that rich plus famous equals groupies. So, that concludes my presentation. Remember, NAS welcomes any of you, especially if you're a brunette. <laughs> Clearly, as you yourself are a brunette. <laughs> I don't think that worked. Well, what do you think? NASA probably wouldn't hire you, but I suppose it was blatant enough for this. Hmm. I do try pretty hard. Are you gonna go see if that worked? Of course. Be right back. And... Back. Report. Utter failure. Deuces. Hey, don't get discouraged. I'm sure there are still things we things to be done. Such as? Well... Oh no, is it gonna be a montage of them trying and failing miserably to get him to want to go to the moon? Well, he's too old at this point. We can't afford to finish building this house, this fell. We can barely afford to pay- But can you afford the Lunar Trip Lottery? If you sell this house, you sure can! Is the diagnosis certain? Yes, in fact, we really- Did you know that NASA has an excellent healthcare plans? It's true, for both you and your spouse. Free pony rides in space! Oh look, a wedding! Good for you! But here's the riddle. Guess where you should go for you the honeymoon? Oh my god. Dr. Rosalie, you've... You've fallen down a, a dark path. River? Dang, Nabbit, Glass, Slippery, Johnny, J John, uh, what the cucumber? <laughs> God. Whew. You know what? This just isn't working. It's more than just not working. It's ridiculous. And it's wasting time. We're freaking um, professionals. I didn't sign up for the job to run around yelling at him like an idiot. You didn't? Aha, uh -huh, Dr. Watts. Look, maybe this lack of sleep is getting to us. Had I known that we'd be on um in all ha had I known that we'd be in all an all nighter, I would have brought coffee. I agree. You should have seen the movie I constructed earlier. What movie? Don't worry about it. Exactly. Anyways, as valuable as time is here, this just isn't going anywhere like this. Let's take a break till morning. Hopefully Johnny can hang on till then. I do have some calls to make. Well then it's settled. Get some sleep. And then start back up in the morning. Ah, a beautiful view. Doesn't make sense. Why did the machine have no effect? Johnny's register a registered wish to go to the moon was successfully transferred, yet... There wasn't even a trace of him wanting to go to the moon after the transfer. Unless... Unless a secondary condition for the desire was changed in the process. Only then, 
with the same desire produce two different outcomes at two different points in time. There's no denying that River played an important role through it all. If there's anything that could have caused the core to change, she would be the top suspect. But out of all things, what exactly caused it? River. Just what exactly did you do? Ah, the sun's rising. Ah, such a beautiful sunrise. We don't have much time left. I wonder if Neil came up with anything. I'm guessing he's just going to be inside the house, so we won't bother with running around all over the place. Get in here and just check on him. Ugh, you can smell that squirrel in the old ran over all the way from here now. Ah, beautiful piano. Beautiful lighting, too. Alright, let's see if he's in the study. But Ma, I don't want to go to school. It's Sunday, dear. Shh, let them sleep. It's okay, I'm just looking for Watts. I won't bother them. You in the bathroom? Hey, what's he taking a shit? No, he's not taking a shit. Let's go and leave. Maybe he's in the basement. Mm, don't see the what's. Unless he's in this creepy room. Yeah, no, he's not in the creepy room. I hate the fact that the music cuts out every time I go in there. Just, eh, I don't like it. Ah, there it is. Wonderful. Come on. He's gotta be in one of these rooms. There he is. No, I understand that part, but... Okay, did you confirm it in his records? And why again was this information not made available to us? Or the medical doctor, for that matter. Where did you get that coffee? Shh. Are you speaking with headquarters? Yes, I'll fill you in after. Now, shh. Thought I left this at Johnny's bed. Oh yeah, where did you find that? I thought you shh me. Temporarily unshushed. Oh, and I lucky. Well, I found the rabbit in the lighthouse last night. There's a bunch more of them there, and in the basement too. Ah. Uh, hmm. Alright. Resume shhing. Okay. God. I really want that coffee though. But I do believe, um, uh, no, actually we got a little bit more time left, never mind. I, I'm trying to do better with keeping an eye on the time, and so, <laughs> so I just had to check that real quick. I thought it was about time to, to cut, but not yet, not yet. Got like a couple more minutes and then, uh, they don't cut. In the meantime, we'll do a little more investigating, talking to people. How is John doing? Barely hanging on. What are you two doing? We just... We just couldn't make any progress. You better be soon. We don't have long. If you're lo looking for your colleague, I think he's in the kitchen. Yeah, I found that one out. Yeah, I, I, I know. 
I heard him making phone calls there. I'm trying to go over here, but the game got confused on that one. Mm -mm. So I think that's the lighthouse Anya. That's the picture of river. That's the platypus. And I don't know what that is. Is that, uh... Maybe that's Johnny... Um, what's her name and what, what's his name? Basically the other two. River's not in the picture. Hmm. Not sure what all I'm gonna do while, uh, while Watts is just on the phone. I mean, I could start wasting electricity and just start turning all the lights on. That's something. Hmm. Actually, maybe I should go talk to the woman. She if she has any information for us that might help. Although she said herself that there wasn't much she knew about John, and that he was kind of a loner. Because it's better than nothing. I mean, come on. I really should have watched those two last night. They were up late. Well, it's not an everyday circumstance, I suppose. Oh, was there something you wanted to ask? Um... You know, it's pretty unusual for someone like you to work here. With two children and all, I mean. It's not that bad, really. There's a school bus that passes through here. But how do you even- how did you even end up here? Well, a few years ago, my husband passed away. What happened? He was in the army. They were the last bunch to be deployed overseas. Sorry to hear. I panicked. Our savings were low and the job market was grim. Johnny saw my ad and offered me this job. I accepted with gratitude. This place was peaceful too. It helped me with my grieving. Doesn't the government issue grants to war widows to help get them back on their feet? They do, and eventually, I received aid. But by then, Johnny was starting to have trouble on his own. He needed my help. Tommy and Sarah liked this place too, and so we stayed. As for Johnny, he was glad as well. We're gonna miss him. I think deep down, he really wanted a family. Oh, that's so sad. So what are you gonna tell them about John? I... I don't know. I'll probably make something up, but it's no use. Kids are smart nowadays. They'll figure it out. Might as well. It's the nature of life. There's nothing to hide. It's better to be upfront and honest than to try and lie. This is your full-time job, isn't it? What will you do when this is over? What else is there to do? Find a job in the city and live on, I suppose. It's a shame, though. I'm gonna miss Johnny and this place. Maybe I'll come back to visit every once in a while. Uh, oh, hey. Before Johnny fell unconscious, he told me that you two would probably be coming soon. He said that he probably wouldn't get the chance himself, but... He wanted me to tell you thanks from him. So, thank you. Hmm. And let's see, um, actually no, we will save checking on Watts for the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like. And if you want to see more from me, why not subscribe? And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye